Hello, and you're listening to Frey. Starting right now. Here's your host, Alfredo Leo. Thank you, Ella. As the New York Yankees got a win on opening day Thursday afternoon against the Toronto Blue Jays 6-1. Everything went right for the Bombers. The offense was able to show the power. Fishing staff kept runs from scoring. And Aaron Boone looked at home in the dugout in his first game as a manager with the New York Yankees. Yesterday's game started and finished with John Carlos Stanton. The Yankees' major offseason acquisition showed that he was good as advertised. He went 3-4-5 with two home runs on the afternoon. That's a pretty good debut. The team paid for one of its best power hitters in the business in the offseason, and it delivered right away with two dingers. It's hard to disagree with that. He also got the silent treatment in the dugout after his second blast. Here's Stan speaking about if he could have had a better debut after the game on the Yes Network. Uh, no, I don't think I could have. Um, you know, I, uh, my biggest challenge I told myself was going to be to be calm, you know, understand that it's, it's opening day, uh, you know, the first time as a Yankee, but um, just, you know, uh, file in as if it's a regular game and be calm, and uh, I was able to do that. He was also asked if getting the home runs out of the way helped him relax moving forward. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, you know, you want to get the first one out the way, and then, um, you know, you can relax and, and uh, you know, have good at-bats after that. Stan was also asked if he expected to get the silent treatment in his first game as a Yankee. I did. Uh, I had to get it, get it late, you know. Um, but I got some air high fives and we did all right. Aaron Judge also spoke about Stan's impressive performance. You know, G's just not a power hitter, man. He hits for contact, hits for a good average. You know, he gets on base, so... It's, it's fun to watch him work and do his thing, you know. So it's, it's going to be a fun year, you know, if he keeps, keeps doing what he does. Judge spoke about the reactions after both home runs. They're both kind of the same, just just wow. You know, it's just impressive to see that firsthand and you know, see his approach. You know, he's taking a couple good hacks off those guys and the score went up like that. It's, it's, it's fun to watch. That's all I can really say. Stan wasn't the only one to leave an impression on the game as Luis Severino picked up right where he left off in 2017. He threw 5.2 innings of shutout ball and struck out seven as a result. He didn't allow a hit until the fourth inning. Also, many had questioned the Yankees pitching staff heading into the season. Some wondered if Severino could repeat his performance from last year. He was able to do so and in style also. This was the best opening day start by a Yankees pitcher in over a decade. He will carry that with him for a while. Stan also spoke about what he thought about how Severino did in the game as well. Yeah, he looked awesome. You know, I was able to, to be in there warming up and see him on TV and, and in here. And, uh, you know, they, they couldn't catch up to that heater. What a debut by John Carl Stan when he came to his first game with the Yankees yesterday against the Toronto Blue Jays. And that goes to show you how incredible he is as a player. And if he stays healthy, this guy's going to possibly hit 70 home runs. No joke. Because this guy has a lot of power. And him playing in the American League East this year, especially playing in a lot of smaller ballparks, he had almost 60 home runs last year playing for the Marlins while playing at Marlins Park. Imagine what he could do at Yankee Stadium and Fenway Park and Rogers Center like he did yesterday. Hitting home runs all these smaller ballparks and even Tropicana Field. The American League East has so many small ballparks that are home run hitting friendly. And Stan's going to be hitting a lot of home runs if he stays healthy. He may even hit 100 home runs. you believe that? No player's ever done that. The record is 73 by Barry Bonds in 2001. But can Stan do it? Who knows? This team's going to hit a lot of home runs this year if they stay healthy, especially Stan. was had a lot of issues staying healthy over the course of his career. But let's hope that with him in a winning environment, he knows how to take care of himself better. And maybe he won't end up being as hurt this time with the Yankees. He wasn't helped. He wasn't hurt last year for the first time with the Marlins, and look what he did. Won MVP. Almost had 60. No player had 60 in a long time, at least clean one, since probably Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle in that battle in the 61, I think, uh, that year. But it goes to show you how much talent Stan has as a ball player, and if he can stay healthy, this Yankees team is going to be doing a lot of stuff this year. They're going to be going really far, too. Don't be surprised. So, But I don't want to jinx it, so I want to just see what happens and see if Stan stays healthy. And if he can hit a lot of jacks into the home runs, especially with the short porch at Yankee Stadium, right field, can he hit a lot of home runs there? I think so, because he's got so much power. Uh, it, hitting at Yankee Stadium is like, like you're hitting at a cereal ball. It's nothing. It's small. So he's going to be able to do a lot there. 
Especially what he did in Marlins Park. Him to do that at that ballpark. Imagine what he's going to do in Yankee Stadium and in other stadiums, like I said, in the American League East. So if he does that, he's going to be hitting a lot of home runs this year. He could be having three, four, five home run games. <laughs> okay, I may be exaggerating a bit, but he could hit a lot of home runs, though, per game. He's going to hit a lot this year, but he's got to stay healthy. So let's pray that he does. But if he does, he's going to be a big time MVP candidate. And him and Judge are going to be doing a lot of back and forth. This could be like an Eminem boys, like the 80s, like the 80s, like the 60s, when uh, those two were battling for the whole run supremacy with the Yankees. So, with Marjorie Maris and Mickey Mantle. So, let's see what happens here with Stan, if he can stay healthy. But he had a really good game. That's pretty good, impressive debut for him, especially with guys when they come to the Yankees or, or any new team. They have to get accustomed to their environment and they struggle and they get booed. I don't even think Alex Rodriguez had this type of debut when he came to the Yankees in 2004. Or D.D. Gores did not have that type of performance when he came to the Yankees in 2015. So I see how much he struggled. He wasn't even known as a good hitter. Like, he wasn't known for hitting. He was just known for defense. But he struggled the first couple of months with the Yankees, and then he figured it out. And now look at him. He's been one of the best hitters on the team. And he's, he's very good, especially having replaced Derek Jeter. But he's done a lot, and Gregorius has been able to do a lot too since then. But he didn't have a great start either. But Stan did, so now the fans are not going to really have much to say negative to, negatively about him. So if he's, he's got a good start right now. He's going to be really loved by the fan base, that's for sure. Especially the type of talent he has, him hitting a lot of home runs. He and Judge are going to be together a lot. And we'll see what they'll be able to do this year too. See, if Greg Bird can come back, that's a big if. But... He, he's going to be back in six to eight weeks, but will he be effective? That's the thing. He's not played that much the last couple of years. He missed all of 2016. He played a little bit last year, only 48 games. But can he stay healthy? That's the big thing with uh, with Bird. But if he stays healthy, this line is going to be incredible with, with Stan and Judge and Gary Sanchez. Can he keep up what he did last year despite missing a month? So if he can stay healthy too, they're going to be incredible. Pitching staff looks incredible as well. The bullpen is nasty. With David Robinson and Della Batances and Aroldis Chapman. Can this bullpen keep it up? The bullpen's got so many arms, Tommy Kingley, you name it. It's just incredible. The rotation's incredible too with Masahiro Tanaka and what Severino did. And Tanaka's pitching tonight, by the way, in Severino. He, he's incredible. CC Zabathia, he's back. And you see what he could do this year. And we see what Jordan Montgomery could do. This rotation's going to be incredible. But that bullpen, though, it's going to be nasty, especially five innings this game could be really short and because of that bullpen you can only need to get four or five innings out of your starters if you're the Yankees so it's going to be incredible to see what they could do but the purpose is to try to stay healthy if they could stay healthy they could do a lot of things this year who knows what could happen with the team but so far so good especially having to really struggle on opening day but opening day when you, when you lose on opening day it doesn't mean anything you could when they won the World Series 2009, they lost opening day. So it doesn't really matter opening day. But it's good to get off to a good start, get some confidence going early. So to see how the team can do in a stretch run, not fall behind the eight ball. So if they could keep this going, then they're off to a really good start. But Severino, he had a pretty good game, too. He just, if he keeps this up, he'll be a kind of superstar. Like he did last year was pretty good for him. But if he could keep it up, like his goal is said he wanted to pitch 200 innings. If he could do that, then he's going to become a great player. And he's going to be one of the best in baseball, not already, but he's going to become a superstar, Severino is. So if he can keep it going, then that's a great side, especially. So now the Yankees have three guys that have started an open day for them. Severino now, Tanaka, and Sabathia. So they've had guys who know what it's like to start like opening day. So, But we'll see what they could do this year. Can they be able to stay healthy with their pitching? Can they hit? Their defense is incredible. That outfield is going to be incredible with Gardner, Brett Gardner, and... Stand and judge there, so see like how they do. There's gonna be a lot of great defensive plays too, especially with the acquisitions they've made as well with Brandon Drury and Neil Walker. So let's see what they could do, and can they keep this going? Well, it's still early. Obviously, it's just been a game in. So, but so far so good, and we'll see what happens with the Yankees moving forward. So this is a good start, even though it's just one game, obviously. But this is a good sign, especially how Stan's been doing well in the first game already. We'll see what he could do moving forward. But this is a really good side for the Yankees so far. So this should be a fun season to watch. And I'm excited to see what they're going to do moving forward. And it should be a lot of fun. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you are brand new. Subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.